Top military leaders from several West African countries have agreed a plan for a possible intervention in Niger as a deadline approaches for the country's junta to restore civilian rule. It follows an extraordinary summit of the regional bloc ECOWAS. The chiefs of defense staff and their teams have worked round the clock to come up with a concept of operation for an eventual military intervention in the Republic of Niger to restore constitutional order, to ensure the release of the detained president, all the elements that would go into any eventual uh, uh, intervention have been worked out here and being refined, including the timing, including the resources needed, and including uh, how and where and when we are going to deploy such a force. On July 30th, the Economic Community of West African States gave the junta, who toppled elected President Mohamed Bazoum in a coup earlier the same week, one week to restore him or face the potential use of force. So we are determined to stop it. But ECOWAS is not going to tell the coup plotters when and when, where we are going to strike. That is an operational decision that will be taken by the heads of state. We want diplomacy to work and we want this message clearly transmitted to the leaders of the junta in Niger that we are giving them every opportunity to reverse what they have done. The military-ruled governments in neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso have said any intervention in Niger would be tantamount to a declaration of war against them.